New video of capital murder suspect Casey White being extradited from Indiana to Alabama. And we're learning more about the final moments of that nationwide manhunt, the chase and the crash that led to his arrest and his accomplice's suicide. New images of that dramatic chase after authorities tracked down capital murder suspect Casey White and former corrections officer Vicki White to this Cadillac. Security camera shows the race through Evansville, Indiana. Police eventually T-boned White's car, causing it to flip into a ditch. Crash out, still inside the vehicle. We could hear her on the line saying she had her finger on the trigger. Female is still armed. Evansville police released video capturing the moment Casey White was taken into custody. Authorities say the pair armed with this arsenal of guns. The fugitive was going to engage in a shootout with law enforcement. The 11 day nationwide manhunt started April 29th, nearly 300 miles away in Florence, Alabama, where authorities say the corrections officer lied to get Casey into her patrol car and help him escape prison. As they closed in, authorities say Vicki White shot herself and later died at the hospital. I think uh, Vicki White was probably dreading having to come back and face her family and friends after what she'd done. Casey White, in a white undershirt and dark sunglasses, swarmed, surrendered, handcuffed the towering 38-year-old back in custody. Also in that car, wigs the police say Vicki used to disguise herself and thousands of dollars in cash believed to be part of the 90000 she withdrew leading up to the escape. They had about $29,000 left over. And late tonight, a coroner in Indiana confirmed that Vicki White died of a single self-inflicted gunshot wound to the head, suicide.